What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It's your big homie in the building. I'm your host, d King, aka Angel Red Sapphire. And welcome to another episode of the I Met My Feature Rap Show. Yo, yo, I'm I'm excited, y'all, because today's episode, we will have a good time. Oh, I'm, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> oh. Anybody who said bless you, thank you. Thank you. Anyway, alright y'all, so we about to have some fun right here because this episode is all about getting to know who I am. Cause I want you guys to know um, um, what is I Met My Future Wife show all about. Because I want you guys to know that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you that and I'm going to tell you about who I am as a person and share my story. Because the purpose of the show is to help people to gain the skills in the stamina and to um this show's all about elevate entertain educate people of all ages and inspire people of all ages that's what this show is all about we this show is to help people to um discover their true authentic self and to help people discover um their purpose what their purpose on this earth is, uh, is about and what they should do with their life so anyway and also um the i met my future Rap show is also a um it's a coaching it's a coaching it's about coaching business and it's a coaching business and um although i am a life coach which is perfect so if you want to um be able to check me out um Everything is gonna be in that link that I'm the ww dot I met my future show. I'm gonna give you th- there's gonna be details on what the I met my future show is about. So go on to ww dot I met my future show dot com. The website that I created, go ahead and head on over there. That's where you you gonna know what the show is mainly about. So head on over there and also if you're wondering what is that noise yeah, um, you know, uh, I found a fan. But anyway, so that so so the I met my visual show is to just it's really to just help people because um if, if, with your everyday life because I do I um the show is all about helping people with their lives their lifestyles help people in their in their career like what they what do they see themselves doing in the future. Um, I, I do coaching sessions about that, and I do coaching sessions about um, bi- I do business coaching as well, and that's the beauty of what um this show is about. Cause I'm um, really um I I really target around that area. I do coach people. I'm a, since I'm a life coach, I help people. I help. I'm a life coach in. Uh, I help women of all ages, and and um and like from from eighteen, from eighteen and up, and I do help m- young men, um eighteen and up, I d- I help people who want to be able to um lose weight. If you guys want, I help people who want to who want to um, you know, get some um. You know, like tips and about those ways. I, I, I am. That's what I'm all about, and I do help people. I know. I pretty much. I do help people all over. I help people in relationships. I help people who who's in the LGBTQIA. I help people who go through trauma when they go through. I help people who go through domestic violence. That's what I do. I I help people in that area because the things that I'm certified in. That's what I am, um, when I'm life coach about because I, I, I'm, uh, I help everyone who needs, who needs it, who, because the thing is that I go through, a lot of things that I go through, um, based on my, cer- based on my certification and what I go through, so it's, it's not just because I got certified, it's, it's just based on the experience that I went through. It's good that to be certified, but it's all about experience and what it could, um, having the experience has helped me to be the person who I am today. And I'm very grateful that, um, that, um, having the experience made, 
made me to who I am. It made me to become certified in different areas. So that's why me, um, this, the, the I Met My Future Wife show is really, is basically on helping you guys in your everyday lifestyle. Because I do, I do coaching in different areas. I do help people in different things. And if you, and I do posts, I do talk about the show it talks about everything that you need to know the show talks about every topics that we, we talk about topics that is hard to talk about we talk about that. we we attack topics that is necessary for people to hear if you need help in relationships i'm going to be doing that i help people with that's why um this show is about is to help young people of all ages that's my goal that's always been my strong suit the holy spirit tell me that this is my strong suit is to help people of all ages not just i, I, I help people through here to coaching i help people through music so that's the beauty of me although i'm a musician i'm a rapper singer songwriter i'm a gospel rapper and i do have a um record label well and now, now that the Fresh King Entertainment, now I'm gonna tell you, it is also an anagram. So, I'm gonna tell you, hold on a second. So, it's basically an anagram. So, get my book here. And I'm gonna tell you what, although it's, the name of it is the Fresh King Entertainment. So, um, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. It's also an anagram as well. So, the anagram for, for, because I do have a nickname. My nickname, I call myself Devin. I, um, or Dexter. I'm known as Dexter too. I'm known as Devin and Dexter. So, the anagram for Devin is doing every verse in numbers. That is what my, my, um, my nickname stands for Devin. The D in in Devin is doing. The E in Devin is every. So doing every verse in numbers, and that's what I've been doing. Doing every verse in numbers. Reading, you know, yeah. The the letter F for fresh is like um is f the, the anagram for fresh is falling real every Sunday, Harry. Now, hear that? Falling real every Sunday, Harry. The reason why I give it th that's an anagram, falling, because if you think about it, falling real every Sunday, meaning I'm doing real, real stuff um, that I post on here. That's what it means. I p do real stuff on, I do real content on here. That's what it's talking about. That's what. That's why um, the anagram for fresh is falling real every Sunday. Because every Sunday I always be real. No matter what day, whatever, I still being real. And I, and my other nickname is Harry. So I have a lot of nicknames. That is not funny. I have a lot of nicknames. So that's so that. So the letter in D for D fresh, you already know, is doing every verse in numbers. And the letter F for fresh. Um, is falling real every Sunday Harry that's my nick other nickname is Harry and uh, the word um, the word king in the fresh king it king is keep it necessary girl the, it, it, there's two things it means girl or gangster so it's keep it necessary girl or or gangster or keep it necessary gangster so that's what it is and the e in entertainment the e in entertainment the, the, the entertainment the e in entertainment is it means every nice team enters wars towards angel is necessary masters every needy thing so now you guys know what the fresh king entertainment stands for then yeah and then the I Met My Future Wife show, I'm going to do the anagram for that as well. So as soon as um, the, my next episode, I'm going to tell you what the I Met My F Future stands for. Because it's also, the I Met My Future Wife show is also an anagram. So I'm going to let you guys know about that. So i got to write it down because it is in my mind. So I'm going to write it down and I'm going to let you guys know exactly the anagram for the I Met My Future Wife show. 
so yep so that's that so now you know the purpose of what this show is about and uh, and also i'm going to take the future of this show is we're going to do i'm going to be doing a lot of a, a um like great content y'all already know this merch coming out this merch coming out on the 27th of this month so yeah 27th of this month the store and it's going to be on teespring guys Keep, um, it's going to be teespring.com It's going to be teespring.com Slash I met my future wife show So just to let you guys know that So Remember it's not up right now I said it's going to be The the um the store The merch is going to be on that And it's going to be all over All over social media as well And so does the record label The record label does have a merch the show and the record label does have a merch that um now here's the thing there's gonna be a surprise in in that merch store for the record label i can't tell you what it is but you guys gotta um stay tuned to find out what it is if you want to know what it is i can't tell you that it's a surprise but um if you guys give guys if you guys give me a hint if you guys if you guys give me a hint and you know what it is, and even if it's a hint, and, and if I tell, because I can't tell if it's close or not, but you guys could give me a hint on what it is. And if, and anyone who get it correct, anyone get it correct, you guys are gonna receive a f- sign an autograph sign shirt, an or an autograph sign shirt, and and I'm gonna be sending it to you guys so. Just want to let you guys know if you get it correct, you guys want to get that signed autograph shirt from me. And not only that, you guys are going to receive a um, a seed my album, my album that I'm putting to the, I finished the album, but I'm doing a CD version. I'm going to put the songs on the CD and design it and put the front cover. So you guys are going to get that. So if you guys get, if you guys guess it, you guys are going to get a sign, an autograph sign shirt, and all, uh, and on same thing with um, with the the um the album cover and the the, the thing so yeah you guys are gonna get an autograph on both of them yeah so that's that so so now you guys know that that there's an anagram for d fresh king entertainment the d in d fresh is devin so yeah as now so now i'm gonna as i said i'm gonna do the i'm at my future show so anywho so that's that so we are going to go into town. I'm going to be sharing about my about who I am as a person. I'm going to be reading. Guys, there's a book that I had for years. I've been me, I write in my journal. I do write in my journal a lot. I do write in the journal and it and the thing the one thing with me, I like to write. That's me. I like to write. I like to write down how I'm feeling. How I'm feeling where I, I do write those things that happen in every day in the, my environment. I write down stuff that happens. That's me. I like to write stuff. That's me because I, I, because ah, I wonder if I should do journalism. Huh? That makes me want to do journalism because I love to write. <laughs> you know. So yeah. So I'm gonna tell you ten things that makes me happy. Y'all already know God is first all the time. Life, music. Having fun, cause me, I like to have fun, you know. I, 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 cause, um, you can be serious and have fun at the same time. That's me, because you know, some because you gotta know this, guys. God make it make this world fun. Yeah, you can be serious, but you gotta have fun with it as well. So that's one thing of me. Um, that's what makes me happy. I like to have. Yeah, I'm a serious person, but I like to have fun too. You know. Yeah. And um, the thing that made me happy is I like to hang out with people who care about me, who cares about me the most. I, um, I hang out, yeah, people who I, and um, what makes me happy is pizza. I love pizza. Me, it, you know, um, to be honest with you, my favorite is pepperoni. I love pepperoni, and and come to find out, there's others that other kinds of things, uh, toppings like um, pineapple. And I'm gonna tell you this: I did try the pineapple before, and um, this tastes amazing. I tried the pineapple pizza before. That was you know, like some time ago. Whenever 
I don't know when the last time I had pizza, but probably last year or something. But seriously, I love um pineapple is nice, and then um there's another topping that I had before, Hawaiian, Hawaiian, Hawaiian pizza, guys. I don't know what, I don't know what is on the top of that topping, but I like Hawaiian pizza. I, I tried it and it was amazing. So because they're different toppings, you know, and um, I thought because I know one of my favorite is um, pepperoni, but I'm starting to like a wine pizza. I'm starting to like pineapple pizza. Um, like the point I decided to like different because I tried different toppings and it tastes and it's amazing. They taste so amazing. I, I I didn't expect for me to fall in love with that. Um, fall in love with pineapple and fall in love with. Um, that and even meat lovers, I try meat lovers and it. Oh my God, meat lovers is amazing. I love it. So, because I thought I would just because all the time I always eat pepperoni. So I said, you know what, I might as well broaden my horizons. So I tried them both, and it, all of them are amazing. So I like anything on that pizza. To be honest with you, because I thought I was just because I know pepper is my favorite. But I said, you know, let me try. But I never know. But I might like more of them. So I did. The next thing that makes me happy is putting out great content. Putting out content that can help people in their everyday lives to be themselves and to love themselves and to and you know and to be able to help people who, especially who are entrepreneurs or new entrepreneurs. If you're starting from the bottom, this this show is for you. This show will help you to regain the skills to um to do entrepreneurship because and i'm gonna tell you this not everybody is cut out to be an entrepreneur to be honest with you some people are comp- some people are meant to be entrepreneurs some people are not because some people are destined for nine to five jobs and some people does not destined for nine to five jobs so yeah and we're gonna go deep into those topics throughout this year and i don't, I, I don't know what season's gonna be but you just gotta stay tuned and keep it locked on this channel make sure to subscribe subscribe and make sure to turn on the vacation that will make us want you guys want to see um more topics like that and the next thing that makes me happy, y'all already know food, cause Jesus, anything food wise, I love. I like chips, and you know what? Right now, I'm currently like is the Jamaican banana chips, the soft kind. I love the soft kind, cause every time when I go to Walmart, um, some every time I go to Walmart, I like I always get the um the the banana chips in the international section, and um, and in there's another. There's another food that I like, which is um, Cheetos, the chips. I love Cheetos. I just, I don't know what is it about Cheetos, but I just love Cheetos. It's amazing. Guys, I could sit down and eat that whole bag of Cheetos. No joke. I would eat up a whole bag of Cheetos. That's me. That's crazy. The next thing is, um, the thing that makes me happy is this platform here, YouTube. I get to express how, I get to express how I feel and I get to do, um, do, because how I end up on YouTube, the first time I ever had my first YouTube channel, it was Danica881. I started out doing music and then how I got on YouTube, you are not going to believe it. But it was somebody that told me about it. Somebody told me about it, I think, and, and and no joke, I just stumbled upon something, and then, but, and somebody told me about it, and I went on it, and I was about, and I, I didn't even know YouTube exists until I just scrolled around the internet, and this was in 2009, and I, I forgot what date I started that channel, but I think it's, I'm not sure, but I had to go on it to find out, but I know, I think it was in, during the summer, June or July, one of them. I know it's between June and July. So, yeah. So, I'm like, I'm like wow. So, I'm, I, I thank God for allowing me to be a part of this platform. Because the Holy Spirit put me on this platform for a reason. So, yeah. So, I can share my story and all that kind of stuff. And, yeah. The next thing that makes me happy is people who, as I said, people who care about me. People who, who is my family, my my chosen family. People who I love and, you know, that's me. I like people who, 
I like people who care about my well-being, care about my my dreams, my aspirations, who supports me, who care about me. Because to be honest with you, I, I, what the Holy Spirit has revealed to me is the Holy Spirit revealed about who is fake and who ain't fake. And the Holy Spirit revealed that um, about my family is not who they say they are, and especially my um, especially my mother. To be honest with you, the Holy Spirit revealed um, that um, she's not to be trusted. And well, it turns out God, the Holy Spirit, God was right, because she does some things that to me that that makes me want to puke. But you know what I mean, and because you know what I mean, it, it, she does things to me that it just is. But the Holy Spirit, said, the Holy Spirit wanted me to know what's going on, so that's it. And I thank God for showing me that about about it, because God has been warning me ever since, since I can remember. And then through my exes, through my let me see, let me see how to say this, uh, through my ex's friend. And my ex's friend, my ex's friend told me that um, there's something off about my mother. No joke. She ain't the only one. More people to tell me to. People who I know, they say, when they meet her, they say, and then they come to me. They say, hi. And they come to me and say, um, they say, Danica, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh there's something off about your mother. It's, there's something. I, I sense some evil presence around her. No joke. <laughs> it actually. It actually. This was some. Uh, it was like what went when I was working at Walmart. When I was uh, working at Walmart and stuff, and all that stuff. Yeah. Even beyond that, people been telling me that there's something off about your mother. It, it's just like she has some evil spirit. No joke. They told me that. So and I was like, oh, cause, cause to be honest with you, I, to be honest with you, I thought that uh, that she was, you know, but turns out the Holy Spirit was telling me the whole time she was my ex's friend, and now I know, and not just them, but other people. And the things that I th- I'm thankful for is you guys. I'm thankful about you guys. You guys shows that. You guys could have chose somewhere else to um, watch where right? you guys chose to check out my show. There's other places. There's other people on YouTube that you can watch. So you guys could watch that and that and and you know, but you chose to watch this too as well. So thank you for um, choosing this show to be able to to watch and listen to what I have to say because this show is all about to help people to um to be to be themselves and 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 the goal the goal for this show is to work with different uh, uh, like collaborate different people collaborate different youtubers artists and stuff that's the goal and the goal is to interview them as well so there's going to be interviews i'll be interviewing different kind of people on this platform so that you gotta stay tuned i know we're supposed to um interview somebody but um excuse me is this the, uh, the the honest truth, I don't, cause every time um I was supposed to um work with her, and like we we're supposed to go on the platform, um uh, at a if um something come up like um she's busy or I'm busy, we're both busy with our lives and stuff. It's kind of so I was supposed to okay, I might as well tell you who I, who I was supposed to interview because with, I don't know what is happening, but it's like. But I'm gonna tell you who I'm supposed to be interviewing. You ask her. Okay. I was supposed to interview if you guys watch the web series Lady Luck Films on YouTube. She's on a lesbian series. I'm just saying. I know some of y'all don't watch it but so, so not not um some of y'all watch it but um sometimes some people um most of y'all, some of y'all watch it, but some of y'all don't. But I'm still going to tell it anyway. I'm supposed to interview her. Um, she was, as I said, she was, on, she's on a, a lesbian series. Turns out, um, if you, um, she is, she, um, she, um, the lady. Got to be honest with you. When I was watching the web series, I said, I said, you know what? I would love to interview her. And I can't believe it. Out of the blue, guys, out of the blue, 
I was at Dunkin' Donuts when I was sitting down. I was, you know, I was doing some and um, doing some th- thing on my on my laptop. Make a long story short, I was doing on my laptop and then I end up um, shut my eyes during my meditation and it and not me to sleep. And then um, I heard some. I feel somebody. I feel somebody um, coming up to me. And then, um, to be honest with you, and then um, I heard the Holy Spirit say, open your eyes. I opened my eyes, and guess who was standing up there in front of me? But the thing, at first, I didn't know she was famous. I did not know. I did not know she was famous at all. um, So, yeah. I didn't know she was famous at all, to be honest with you. All I did, I just like... We're talking, we're talking, and you know, and um, she told me her story. Uh, she's a mentor, and she's a, um, a mentor. She is with a mentor, an advocate, yada yada yada. She told me a story, what happened with her, and I tell her my story, and yeah, be all. And she, 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 she's a great person, and you know, she's a great person. But all I know, she, she was in a, a lesbian web series. Y'all got, y'all just got to look up at her finer, because I was like, I was like, wow, because I wanted to interview her, and the Holy Spirit. And the funny thing is, the funny thing is when I was watching that um, that 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 um, web series, I, I I I was like, I wonder what it's like to work with her. And boom, I end up, and then I didn't even know I end up. So boom, I didn't even know she. It was her until I look her up. When she said her name, I'm like, okay. And then she and then she tell me she she has a book. So yes, she does have a book. So if you guys could go ahead and support her, I'm gonna. Give you a link where you could go to, and then y'all are gonna be like, "Oh, I know her. I watched her on the web series." And yeah, but not. I'm just gonna leave the link in this in the description so you can just click. It would take you to her book. Her book is on Amazon. I was supposed to interview her, but um, I'm gonna leave her, her, her um book link. So if you wanna get her book, go get it. I'm um. I was supposed to get it, but I, uh, I, I'm gonna get it though. But I know it's a great book. I could tell, cause she, um, I'm gonna tell you this. The funny thing is, I don't know what's in that book, but the Holy Spirit <laughs> is telling me um, um, that um, about the book. So the the Holy Spirit is telling me this. The book is a great book. It's amazing. Her story is in there. Her story is in there. So that's why I want you to go on that link below and go hit, go to that link and go to uh, and it's going to take you to the Amazon store and go purchase. It's a great book. Um, but it's a it's probably afford it's, it's it's affordable. So go go get it. Go support her. Go support her. She's amazing. She's so um. Cause by the time you hit that that link, you go you gonna be like, oh yeah, um, I watched her. And then I, I, I and y'all gonna be like, I can't believe it. You met her. But the thing is, I did not know she was famous. You know. So yeah, cause I can't tell you which person on 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 Lady Luck Films. So you. Just, I just give it the leave it the link down below now you'll know. So yeah, the next thing I'm happy about is I'm gonna go through this real quick. Is um to um be able to exercise, be able to take care of my body, my self care, and all kind of stuff. Thank I uh, thank God for a roof over my head. I thank you God for food, everything. I thank God for everything that He provided to me. I I, I thank God for everything. Shows TV shows to watch, lab um a laptop where I could make videos, all that stuff. I thank God for all that He has done because if it wasn't for the Creator, I would not be doing what I do best, which is amazing. Oh, so yeah, I'm going to give you some random facts about me. And I wrote this. So, I am confident. That's right. And I am very talented in a, and a great person. I like to take long walks on the beach. I do like to take long walks on the beach. My fans, like subscribers, are very important. Pe- important people in my life meaning you guys are important in my life i get to um share my my um purpose with you guys which is amazing you know what i mean and uh my favorite colors are um pink blue and purple but turn turns out blue end up end up being my first color my favorite color i do like pink and purple i used to like pink i'm not saying i don't like pink i used to like pink but blue is number one I like and uh, yeah, uh, y'all. Food is very important for me. All the time. food is very important, especially pizza. 
Is it me? I love anything that is food wise. I love. Yes. I do love fashion as well. I, I do like to um, do a little. I'm that way. I like to um, dress how I want to dress because I'm, I'm dressing how I, I want to dress like Danica. I want to dress like I'm just like myself. I'm just like the Fresh King. You know what I mean? I, I want to just like the Fresh King and that's who I am. You know what I mean? I'm just like me. Could do. I love to make people happy. Cause that's me. I like to make people. I got to entertain people. I like to make people happy. Cause um, I'm gonna tell you this. I did had a reaction channel before, and I was posting um videos and make a long story short. If you guys know Nikki and Gabby, I did react to their um, I did react to them. I be, I be, I did react to them, and then they filmed themselves. React. Um, they film themselves reacting to my video, to uh, my reaction. So, but it's it's taken down because that was uh, I don't know why it got taken down to be honest. Because actually, I can't I can't get the daggone password to go in. So you know what I mean? I can't, uh, so that's the thing. Okay, that is let me know that I I'm, I need to um 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 I got about ten. 10 minutes yeah okay I always have my phone with me guys I do always have my phone with me because the reason I always have my phone on me I don't need to have the phone on me but I have to the reason why because what I do I write anything if I walk outside or anything I and and that's how I get my ideas write songs or whatever and me I don't usually Sometimes I write songs and sometimes it just come in my head and I start me I rap for I, I I rap on command. So I do rap on command. So that's the thing with me. I do rap on command. So yeah, that's me. And I'm a, I'm gonna let y'all know in a minute. Um I'm, I'm uh yeah. Family is very important to me. Uh, my shows of family very important to me. I like family because I'm family oriented. I like I like me. I'm a person. I like to me. I'm a very family oriented person. Really, if you know, that's me. I love family, but my fam. Uh, to be honest with you, on my dad's side, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this, guys. I'm gonna tell you this real quick. Well, um, last year when I went to Jamaica, but if you guys have been, I went to Jamaica. I'll make a long story short. Um, I met my brother's kids on my dad's side. My brother's name is Kevin. That's all you need to know. I'm not going to tell the last name. His name is Kevin, and he got up. Uh, he has four girls. So, and it turns out I am an aunt. <laughs> yes, it turns out he has four. But, but he, he don't even stop there. Um,. My brother has more kids. Not just for it. He has a whole bunch of kids. And then he, um, and then, make a long story short, I was supposed to see him, um, because I, he was in the area in Jamaica and I was in the, in the, in the area. But I, I was trying to, because he, he, y'all already know. I was trying to get to him, but I, but I didn't know that he was in the same area until they say, he was there and then that and it was too late because and then but now um i i did reach out to my brother because i haven't spoke to him for years for over 10 years like not even 10 years over a decade because the last because I, I i grew up i grew up in new jersey uh, and you're uh, in new jersey because um i think it was a 2004 because in 2004 i went to high school in 2004 and I graduated to 2007. So in, in so in 2004. So yeah. So that that's that's was a decade. And then I end up connecting with my brother Kevin. And make a long story short, um, he tell me he sent me pictures of my nieces and nephews. He has a lot of kids, so I do have nieces and nephews from my brother. And I guarantee my other brother probably my other siblings on my dad's side up probably has kids because because the thing is i know i'm an aunt right because um i have a a sister on my dad's side and her her name is shay her name is shay 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 and then um the thing is she have one one daughter i know i'm an aunt but the thing is i didn't i didn't know that i have more more nieces and nephews oh gosh i have a big old family so yes uh Turns out I have I have 
three brothers and two sisters on my dad's side. So that's five siblings. Yeah. So yeah, so I have a brother named Kevin. I have a brother named Dwight. I got a brother named um Ted. And um I have a sister named Tiffany and the, the girl I, I, I my other sister named Shay when I told you that uh, yeah so yeah I got I got five siblings because uh, and I'm gonna tell you this I me I'm not gonna say they're my step siblings they are my they are my siblings me I, I'm not that person oh that's my step my step um uh, uh, my step um sister my, nah that ain't me that's my sister Tiffany's my sister Shay is my sister. Kevin is my brother. Dwight is my brother. Ted is my brother. Me, I, I don't even know Steph, whatever. Uh, they are my, they are my siblings. That's it. That's that. And um, the thing is, um, uh, y'all already. Know, I, I don't think you guys know this. Probably you guys already know. I just told you that I used to live in New Jersey and Atlanta, Georgia. And now I live in Florida. If I haven't said this, now you guys know that I used to live in New Jersey and and at Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia, but not in the heart of Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. I used to live in Lithonia, Georgia, and um, I was there for like um, not that long, not that long. It was short, and then I didn't even know I my my mom's. My mom didn't know that she had a sister in Florida, so her sister moved me, her and my sister up to yeah, 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 and the rest is history. Yeah. And um, the next thing is, y'all already, I, y'all already know, cause I told you guys this that I love traveling. I love to travel, and y'all already know I love all types of music, cause I didn't mention that. You, and YouTube makes me happy. This is what makes me happy. YouTube. YouTube makes me happy. I get to be myself on here, and that's what I do. I, I, um, that's me. I like to be honest. That's my strong suit. I'm, I'm an honest person. I could tell you the truth. I'm a brutally honest, and I, I, and I would tell it like it is. And if people don't like the truth, that's their problem. That ain't my problem. You, you don't want to hear the truth. You wanna hear the truth? That's that's your business. <laughs> that's your business. I ain't got nah me, I'm different. If you don't wanna hear the truth, that's on you, my friend. It ain't on me. Cause I'm all about the truth. I'm I I I'm a I'm a truth teller. I tell the truth. I don't sugarcoat, I tell people the truth. I could tell people the truth. That's me. The only reason I will lie, if and and I'm not promoting that I'm not promoting that lying is good. No, it's not. I like to protect people for a different reason, but I'm not saying that lying is. I'm I'm telling you that from now. I'm not trying to promote that. Um, Ariana Grande is such a sweetheart. I'm just saying, she's a sweetheart. I'm just saying, she's a sweetheart. She's cute. That's all you need to know. Move on. I love making videos to help people. That's me. I just told you that before. I like to help people. And I do have a collection of pens. I have a lot of pens. To be honest. I have a lot of pens. I have a lot of pens. I have so many pens. And I even have more pens. Yeah. I'm a pen, I'm a pen collector. <laughs> yeah, I'm a pen collector. I like to collect pens. Because pens... Even pencils, I like pencils or whatever, cause I like to write. That's me. I like to write. It made me want to do journalism, to be honest with you. And I do love hats. I have a lot of hats as well. I have a lot of hats, and yeah, I have a lot of hats. Hats is I love it. I and I also love ice cream too. I me, I love ice cream. The type of ice cream I love, I like vanilla ice cream. I like chocolate ice cream, but and also I like cookies and cream. Guys, who who likes cookies and cream? Because I like cookies and cream, and I sort do love vanilla. So some people don't like sh- some people uh, don't like chocolate. Uh, there's a reason they might be allergic. So me, I like all types of um, all types of ice cream, but my main one is is vanilla, um, cookies and cream, and yeah, chocolate. So there's probably more. Yeah. So yeah. That's what I Y'all already know I was born in Kingston, Jamaica. All day early I was born there. And I was raised in 
in the U.S. too as well. I was raised in Jamaica. I was raised in the U.S. I was raised in New Jersey. And I, I was raised in New Jersey. I was raised in um, uh, New York as well. I was raised in in Georgia, and I was raised in Florida. So I was raised everywhere because I've been moving from left to right, left to right. So yep. And the yellow it and on the thing is I do like to drink chocolate tea. Hot chocolate. I love it. I love chocolate teas. Ooh. And the thing I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. You know what I do? I like to go to Dunkin' Donut and get hot chocolate. Cause it doesn't matter what size it's small, medium or large. That's me. I don't like hot chocolate because it because hot chocolate I just love hot chocolate. And last but not least, I cannot shower on a full stomach. I cannot. The reason why I can't show on a full stomach is there's a reason why I don't show on a full stomach. Cause I don't wanna go go you know what go puke in there. No 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 no. I'd rather uh, before before I go start eat or anything, I'll you know I'll, that's me. And the thing is what I do every time I come out the shower, what I do, I come out the shower, I just walk I just cover my body and walk walk in. And I don't lotion my feet. I know, I know. And I'm like, oh, I know. I just don't do it. It's just kind of weird. But I just don't like to do that. When I come out of the shower, I was like, come out and just dry my skin and just put my clothes on. I just don't put on lotion. Sometimes I put on lotion if I forget. Yeah, just, yeah. Rarely that ever happened. <laughs> Alright, y'all. That's all you need to know. Alright, y'all. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see what I put in this. What else did I? Let me see what else did I put in this book. Oh. Wait a minute. Cause I had this book for quite a, quite a long time. And I do a lot of writing. Oh, I, I I need to tell you this. I'm also an introvert and an extrovert. I'm 50-50. I'm 50-50. I forgot to tell you that. I'm 50-50. Yeah. I just realized that. I didn't tell you that. I'm, I'm, I'm 50% introvert and I'm a 50% extrovert. Just let you guys know. I do not like beauty products. Um. I am not a yes. I am feminine. I am. I'm a fem. I'm a female, but I do not like beauty products. <laughs> no, I don't like the makeup or that kind of jazz. I'm a masculine energy. I'm masculine. I just, I just um, do put on, you know, fix up myself the way how I want to fix up. But I don't use no beauty products. And the thing is, um. I remember my sister put beauty products on my um, makeup on my face, but I, to be honest with you, I just don't like makeup. No, that is not my strong cup of tea. No, I, that's not much. I need to. And um, y'all already know, I was born in November. I am a Scorpio. Yes, guys, I'm a Scorpio. You know, you guys know, I'm a Scorpio. November 14th. And I used to go to talent shows in high school. I went to talent shows. Excuse me. Yeah, I went to a talent show. And, and that's how I realized I, I could sing. So, to, yeah, that's the time when I know how to sing. So, and I'm going to tell you this. I've never missed an episode of Predator Liars. Well, I kind of do now because the la um the first the Predator Liars, I watch it and uh, certain, to be honest with you, I miss certain episodes, seasons. So, half of the thing. So, yeah. And y'all, um, Law and Order SVU is my favorite episode. I love SVU. It's something about, um, investigation. It made uh, me want to become a detective. Technically, I am a detective. I am a private detective because I'm certified in private detective. I am a de private detective. You're just saying. Um, y'all already know I like chocolate, vanilla, don't like beauty products. Okay. When I was a child, I told my family I want to be a star and singer. And look at me now. I am a singer. 
I am a singer. Yes. Me, I like to brush my teeth. I know this is just random. I guess put put that in. I do like to brush my teeth. Yeah. I always brush my teeth all the time. Sometimes I forgot to brush my teeth and you know, yeah, I'm that way. Sometimes I forgot. I don't know something. Oh uh, yeah. Well, before I'm gonna tell you this. Before I hardly drink water, but now I've been drinking water like clockwork. I keep peeing every second. Yeah, TMI, but still, um, yeah. Drive back in here, tell you see a point up and take go some. I draw back, I think some in here. I have to see a nastiness inside there. I, I, so you are on the house, you are on this house. We draw out the draw out the thing. Look at me, I can carry them out for throw them outside. You draw back in here, tell you show yourself. But there's a reason. Right? Are you run this house? Not you, are you run it? Are you run it? Oh my book, that means you that show it. My book, I'm asking. You understand it? This is a home. This is not a garbage bin. Look at the place. This is not a garbage bin. You understand me? I, I fix was the one that put it up. I'm in an here. argument with you. I'm in an argument with you. I'll make me say, make me say, we want the place to tidy up. We want to get these things out of the tidy up the place. You understand me? This hard living can't work no more. I am done. Them some of the best people now say something. Never tell them I can't look at them all service for them belong. You understand? Why would you me? put my stuff well, outside? Do something, do you something. did it before, and I yeah. put my stuff out there, wet them up, and you show them out. I want them. I and then you show my good clothes right. that's in exactly. there. Exactly. Even my one. Bible, and you don't have no remorse. No, for what? Then. For what? You don't have no remorse. You, are the old man, you, you have no you remorse. A Bible that a, 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 a good, good Bible, you show that out. You are 35 and you don't have no remorse. If you have old snipes, so you don't have remorse for you. Look on the house, the bathroom one, clean up the place one. All you can do is sit down for a computer. So your version of cleaning is take up my stuff and throw them out. That's your version of cleaning. Morning, noon and night, this is how you want for the place to live. Lift them out, people them up for start work and take out the Well, all of them are working, all of them are up on the place. Eh? All of them are up on the place and nasty. This. Look at the place. Look at me at the wall, the wall, the, the, the stuff, this, the place now, this place. This something thing that watch around up on them. You draw the sun, watch around up on Who are you? Where you come from? Eh? Every time people talk to you, it's the same or same or something. No, no kind of, you're not talking about remorse or nothing. You're a big 35 year old woman, you can't keep the place like this. You can't keep the place like this. You understand me? You have to choose this day, what you have to do. You can't keep staying in the house and keep it so. It's all locked down, it's all time, I'm in a business. Now we can't take it no more. I can't take it no more. Nobody can't come here because the place is nasty and stink. Yes, they will come in and they will get ready. They will leave and go to friend house so they can stay in here. The place stinks and moly. You eat the food and you have the food and you have, you get the free money so you take them you buy the food and you carry them up. You eat the something. The garbage bin them right there food there so. You are what? Who are you that you can't stop right there so? Step the guy who still live here. I mean never see a dirty something inside there yet. Never. And him used to live here. Me never see dirty son here. He got your butt in thing that him your your car told them up with. Every time you go through the water cup then, you have this and you got me buy the cup then. You come here, you your train, you use them. You can't just go in the bathroom, you, you can't go in the garbage bin. Pack the thing them and put them in there. What what is the room doing with so much dirty stuff inside there? Yes, there's a down, down right this guy. We come in and see this and we have to wheel and come back out. Me don't have one you and me can't be like this, you're not man, you're not who you're what? Who are you? Who are you that you keep in the place like a dungeon? And you feel that we have the, this bit you move them from front yes, to over this. Up. You move them from this up to over this. Up. And that's what you do. And now my human being have them go up on books. Then buy themselves a bookshelf. Buy a bookshelf and put the things in here. And organize them so that they them don't take out. That you can't keep every, everything. You buy a bookshelf. You have a bookshelf you put in the corner with your books in here. Not, not all like that. You just want to live and live and live. I cannot take it no more in here. This is a human, this is a house. This is a house. You yes, understand? This is not a me. When we come here, I sit here and say, Jesus, no, me, 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 me nearly drop down. Me can't believe say, a house like this, me I keep a house, a house like this. You don't think that you have to live in the place. We can't wear the bread with it. That way, we are like that. No, man, that, wow. Hey, look there. Not even now you're a prisoner or a mother house. No way I'm talking to people like this. What is wrong with you? Eh? What is wrong with you? You get up now, man, you're up on the computer. In an eating computer, and I say to us, I live. You don't care. You have to care. You're not paying for inside here. It's one thing. You're not paying nothing. 
is one thing. But the other thing has a nastiness. And we go through, we go through January to December, we go through 23, the whole of 23. The same old dirty way of them. Same dirty way of things them throw down. You're not paying nothing. You want a light for run. How you ever would live like this? Tell me which person, ask them, ask them. Even when Steve in the power road, he must have to be responsible for something. Even the piece of mat when Steve must have to be responsible for something. You can't have a live, son. You don't want to pay no light. You don't want to pay no water. And they do. You leave yourself open for disrespect. When you live like that, you go to the clubhouse, them say, dollar, you don't have the dollar to pay. You leave yourself open for disrespect. Because all them do are disrespect. You hear them feed you. And them say, go into the kitchen, go to some. And you have to, I wish you name, wish you name, say, go and sweep up the place. What you, because you, 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 uh, you, 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 you ask people to treat you like how you want to be treated. You understand me? You ask people to treat you like how you want to be treated. Because, you know, if you're a young girl like you, you rub your knee. Yes, your, your, your knee is sick. You are going to doctor. What's the point of going to doctor? You stop. And I tell you, so Whose fault it is? Take responsibility. It has got to be yours. Because you have the power to stop it. You have the power to say, here, see, we are getting the mortgage too. I am making my contribution. That's why you People in the, 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 the apartment, they don't pay them rent. They tell them things. You tell them here, baby, I know baby. They tell them, I throw the things they don't have to That is what happens when you don't pay your rent. My friend who have one ton three hundred dollar Maria for pay one thousand three hundred dollars. You understand me? One thousand three hundred dollars. And what? You think she can come up to she pay? Yes, that she have to go to the wrong overdraft and get some money and go pay the interest. She have to pay. People live somewhere if you want. If you want to you live somewhere, you have to pay. You pay, you get a cobal. I clear out a cupboard in the kitchen, just treat it just like how you treat the guy. A cupboard in the kitchen, you have a cupboard you put your food into. You can't live like this. No, the fridge gone, whatever. Everything, you go in there, you go, go to eat, you drink the, 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 the juice right inside, the juice, the juice, you know. Yeah, my family sick, sick, sick yesterday. I asked me to tell them how they have to run me too. You know, so look at the thing, it's the, what am I going to do? You're afraid of someone for lockdown. God, if there's nothing not going inside there. You have, to, you have to take a stack of our one. You can't, at 35, you can't live like this. Every time I'm concerned, oh, them think I want to curve out, I'm 30 years old. You can't be a 35 year old person. You the window sit. You can't call it that. Man, I come in and ask, I ask me. So, so we need, how long have you been living here? I said, never tell the man, say, oh, I said, we have been here for two weeks. Me shame, me shame, me shame. Because see, the place smells much better with the things they take out. Yes, they come in and couldn't breathe. Couldn't breathe. You eat the something, then you take the something, you put it into the power, and you throw them down. It's a spite, a spite. Why would you do that? Why would you take the thing? All the garbage bring them in, so you shouldn't sleep in there at night time. Because that is what happened. It accommodates the roach. What more must I talk to you and tell you? You're poor, you can't trace me. You're poor, you're bad, you can't cost me, you can't this, you can't. But that's in the long run, you can't win. In the long run, you can't. Yeah, 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 man, go on. You all see it. You all see it. Prove, try prove. This is American system. Yeah? Me and you can't win. Can't look our complexion. Says you can't win. So the best thing for you to mm-hmm. try and do. Go on, win there, no go on. You see, you see, you see, you set up and I go on, go on. Because you are missing me up. That is what I'm not like doing. Nothing. You think at this point in time you are win? Look at you. You sit down. You call this a winner's game. Me and my bed asleep. Should they never should they asleep? Because you move the bed. Yeah, and why did I move the bed? You need to pay. You need to pay. The uh, to pay towards the mortgage. Yeah, and, 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 and while I'm getting it, and you keeps coming in here and taking up my stuff and thing that and throwing them out, and you think it's a, it's a good no, thing to do. Inside, you know, if you're not paying, if you're not paying. How would I pay for things when you are taking up no, my stuff and, and pay, things here? Yeah. Pay, you get a key, you lock your key, you door, and you go to business. That's I've been right. having a key for a long time, and you take it and nothing there. Yeah, you stole my key. No, that's, that's called stealing. No, it's, it's called you not paying. You. That's called stealing. Not paying. That is called listen, stealing. The that definition that of listen, stealing is taking something that doesn't belong listen, to you. The reason like that I can't talk to you because I love it straight. I love it. energy to waste. When somebody reads like that, because that's a sign. That's common that's a sign. sense right that's there. A sign of a son of what? What are you talking so about? Son of what? You think that this freak about you like this? With the time lock it down, time me lock it down. Every track it say, you can't call the police, can't look now, but in your field, you have to get somebody to come in. When the police say yesterday, if you oh, do it one more time, okay. if you lock that door, if you lock any door one more okay. time, okay. I should call them. Okay, well, they won't call them again. Remember, remember me tell you. Remember me tell you, when you call them, look at all of these things. These are mine. I have the receipts in the thing that this is just on me by everything in the ambition. I have the liberty to take them and do what you want for the money. 
understand have you sustained um, this house no you did no, not no, no, you only get 600 no, 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 you don't no, tell no, people that part no, though no, and you want to tell the lie them no. And you, you can go and go tell people the lie them. But I know the truth. You six hundred dollars cannot sustain this house. Six hundred dollars cannot sustain it. It was my money that I had that saved this house. So don't bother talk. You need to tell the truth. You need to tell the truth. Admit it because you need to admit it. You need to admit it. You see exactly because you know it's true. You know it's true. That's why you're going on like that. See? You see? You see there? You see there? I wait till I tell them. Make the man come tomorrow because I'm going. And the cops going to be involved too as well. When you went up first after reason, stupid like on your reason. That is called right? stupid. All you have to do, you, you that's called to stupid. Watch, just like when you pay T Mobile and Bill, you pay to watch. That has nothing to do with anything. Anywhere, if you live anywhere and you don't pay, the decks to me the also if, if you have this house and I don't pay, I'll do I have to six hundred dollars a day. If me don't pay this mortgage, yeah, you know, with so my so money so that you stole out yeah. the thing. We stole the money then. You and yeah, and so I, because of you, I cannot go back to Wells Fargo because of you. Because there was an investigation on you, and uh -oh. then they, uh, they can um uh, I tried to apply again. They cannot let me in because uh -oh. of you. Uh -oh. Because uh -oh. your name was in my account. Uh -oh. So when you uh, uh, uh -oh. because your name was in the account, do you hear? Because you did not steal her money. There's a difference. There's a difference. You steal my money. That's a difference. You didn't do it with Shanika, but to get it, it with me. At least she don't get a car from the West Fargo. I stop calling my age. It has nothing to do with nothing. You must at age 35, you owe yourself that much to go and look at life for yourself. Them the people outside them go on. Them, them have no, man. Contribution. You have no. I have been You, I become contributed for a long time. And you know that. She. That's one thing I don't get with you. She. You. you she knows that. God. She knows that. She's trying to. She's trying to be slick, and I should. She's trying to be slick. She's trying to be slick. Trying to be slick. I don't know because she know it's true. She know she should know it's true. She know it's true. Yeah. 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 You're trying to come out for uh, my money because because you because your teeth for my money. You're trying to go after the last uh, the last thing that I have. That's what you're trying to do. You think so anybody stupid? I'm not stupid. After, you're going after my money. That's why you, you're going after the only money that I have. You're going after the only money that I have. That's why you want me to pay half, which that no make no sense. Because because if you steal my money, if you steal out the whole of my money, how am I going to pay for this if, if you steal it? That don't make no sense. Go, you're with what? With what? The money that you stole? Yes, but that's the only money I have. And you want me to spend the whole of it out? You're supposed to be a type of disability. Where did them give up? You know, it's 65. So I can't have any care. What is it? You're on disability. The government, where did you go and give disability for you? Them give a free freaking phone. Them give a free um thing there. I'm waiting to get the disability for for, for, for cover your ass. That's where you get it from. Well, um, you have the disability. That's, that's what you're saying. No, you're I never know you have disability. Talk to me. You have disability. Talk to me here. I love you for the talk. So, make them hear and say they're not taking shit from you. Because wow. people who get disability wow. are SSI, SSD, are SSD. Disability right? don't define who you are, and that you don't know that. But disability it don't define who you are. If it doesn't, if, if, if it doesn't show on you, there's a different. It it yes, you can have disability, but it doesn't show. Disability not, but you, you it doesn't show on that person. Because How much I have that I'm disabled? Them first thing the man asked me about that nonsense. The man inside is in. Wow. And the did the man, man tell them exactly what you did? 
The man, did the man the tell him, if I had tell him everything, they would say, oh, that no, makes sense. Book, book, that yeah, makes sense why you're going on like that. Yeah, I mean, for sure, the policy of the book, then you have the, some, the wow. shit, the whole part, food, them, the plate, them, the cook, them, they give you the soup, you say, oh, no, you're trying to find it, but the, the soup. The, the I did not show them on the floor because you put it out there, it fell. So so don't blame me for something that you do. Yeah, I That's your problem. Who are you? Where you come I from? take up what? This is like a prison you, you, see? you see? You see? It's like a prison you do something and you blame it. It's I mean, like that makes sense to you? You do something. Some if you had like put this table out there, and it's something like drop. Problem to me. What the backside you come and be a problem? I'm not being a problem to you. Problem you you, you come, come bother me. Look at the dirty place. Look at the dirty. Look at the place is not dirty. No, it's not. You, you're telling the lie, them, and the lie, the lie is for sure. It's, it's going to end up in a car to you. It's going to catch up to you. The more you tell lies, it's going to catch up on you. Wow. Get some tiger help if you need help. I'm not making a, a fool of myself. I'm not making a you are making a fool of yourself. You are making a fool of yourself. Me drive you crazy with what? When you were stealing my money, who drive you crazy? Look here. Look at look at what? It takes. I know how I will tell you. What are you talking about? What What are you talking about? Sleep like what? Because you're moving. You move it. And you how much I pay if you steal my money? Tell me if that makes sense. You stole my money. You and you admit that you stole it. You admit that you stole it. Because of you, because you moved it. If you have not moved it, why would I pay for something that you come in here all the time? As because I clip your wing. That's why you're going like that. I clip it. Yes, old. You miss me. Stop me. calling. It has nothing to do with it. You are it. no nothing for sleep on. Because you take it right. out. Right. Because I, I wish you're not supposed to do that. Because I was the one that said, my money so so saying this out. You stole my money and put and make it look like it's it's your money. You, you, you think people are stupid? Anyhow, I tell them this information. You are done. You are done. You are done. You need to come come see my little baby sitting and jumping and carrying and a a broom zoom. What you dead, I don't sit up like a damn nigga. Because you steal my money. What? What's the point? You are sick. Sit up like your ass. You stole my money. You will walk up and up and do what you do. Watch it if you think I joke me. If you think I joke me. Because you did that. You did. You you did that. I sit up to the back to the bend up and can't move no more. And you want to come up? Call the police. Then you know blow if you speak. That's what you do. Then say they go shelter. Go to a shelter. You stay there. You can't keep it so neither. But you can't go in a shelter. You have to no, move. You can't move back uh -uh. You carry a shelter. You get up and you walk and you go. You answer. That's how people are 35. We can't do that. No, my friend. Them. Pity them. No, my friend. Them. Pity them. No, nobody is. We can't do that. Their life has nothing to do with mine. No, because you're, you're Everybody right. is different. You're telling me about somebody else. Their life is mine. Your life is not their life. My life is not your life. My life is not anybody else's life. What you call mentor? People that come before you, what, the mentor, the mentor. What, 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 who are you? Who are you? Eh? I'm, I bet you should name Celeste in a bed of sleep. Okay, and what? Uh, what's your problem? What's Stop calling call people near before what's something happens to you. What's Stop. Hey, what's your? So this is into a bed sleeping. When okay, and that's uh, and that's uh, after I'm done using. Mm. Get what is it your business? It's not I'm, your business. Because you move the bed. 
You see, you lose the whole point. Go buy yourself a bed. I move my bed. Go get yourself a bed. That's this answer to it. We're going to give you one to two hundred go bed. Get and that's the bed. only money that I have. Are yeah. you other money? What it is, what and and, and how much is that bed? How much is the bed for? You can't get one. Yes, you can't get one. Get one. Get I know how much that bed is for. Cheap you bed. Are, no just, man, your mentality is messed up. A cheap bed. A cheap bed. A cheap bed. Wow. A food store. Whoa. Wow. Okay. You see that, guys? The Holy Spirit told me not to um, not to stop recording. I did that for a reason. I d you see that? You see that? I was talking about. You see what I did? The whole because the Holy Spirit said, "Don't, don't, don't." I was about to end it, but the Holy Spirit said, "Don't do it. Don't do it." You see what she? All of what she said. You see that? You see that? God did this for a reason. There's a reason why God told me to not stop recording. See. I was about to stop recording, but I heard God, the whisper said, no, leave it, leave it, and I'm going to leave it. Now, all of what you heard from her, this come to show you who you're sticking up for. Now you know exactly what happened. Now I exactly know what happened. The reason why she's like that is because she she's telling people what they want to hear. That's why she's doing that. Does she just admit it? She's telling me to pay a bill. It's like that should not be a priority first. God should be a priority, and then everything will come unto you. See? See? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Now you hear everything. Now you know who she is behind closed doors. She will show you um the nice. Oh, she's nice, but well, she's not. Remember what I told you before. What did I tell you guys before? My ex, my ex's friend. My ex's friend told me not to trust her. She has evilness, and no, I know what she means. I know what she means because she's accusing me for something that I did I didn't do. You know what I mean? You hear that? You hear that? You hear she being rude? You hear that? Okay. Now the reason why the Holy Spirit told me to st to not stop this is a reason. There's a reason why God did that. The reason why the Holy Spirit told me not to stop this is because you guys should hear what she, who she is behind closed doors. You know what I mean? Cause what she, you see, that's why, that's why I had to chip in. That's why I chip in. You see what I did there? Exactly. That's why I chipped in. I said something. Cause so I could tell you guys the truth. She doesn't know that I'm recording. Now she's going to know that I was recording after this is published. Because this comes to show you. She wants to show you the parts that, that she wants to show. She wants to um, n not show you the parts that she does. You see what I mean? Alright guys, let me tell you this. You remember what I said earlier what she did? She throw in the clothes that I because I had more a lot of clothes but the throw out I'm gonna tell you this hold on I'm gonna tell you in a minute why you where come from nasty son you justify that no I say what you justify that say 
me not ask this, we are justified to say. You need have the whole bag of the cheaters. Cheaters, everybody are going against cheaters. We have to I take it from the PSL and have one bag. Let me say it again, cancer. And you still need to have one bag. Bags and bags of cheaters. You have them all. See that? Notice, see that? And there's a reason why. No, the reason why I allow you guys to hear this is because the Holy Spirit told me not to end it. That's why. Um, I, unless I would have. I'm going to tell you in a minute. So, uh, so as I was saying, so the reason why she she did that, she, cause I'm gonna tell you this, every time I clean the place, guys, and I'm gonna be honest with you, cause remember I told you that I'm brutally honest, and you're gonna hear the truth from me. My 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 mother's not gonna tell you the truth, but it's time for the truth to come out. You heard what you heard, you heard exactly what she said, you heard exactly. You heard it. So I'm going to be totally honest with you. She's trying to come off. She, she's trying to come after my only money that I have. She She's trying to come after my only money that I have right now. I wish it's my social security. To, and this is the total honest truth. She, she's trying to. Because the reason. She's trying to go after this. She want to get half of it. Because she's trying to not let me have nothing at all. Because, because she, um, because, to be honest with you, I don't know where she get this from. But I got a thousand two hundred. She making that up. I know. I, I know she making that up. I got over a thousand, but it's not two hundred. So she, she, she. I, I'm not going to tell you. I know it's over a thousand. That's all. I, that's all I can say. But I'm not going to tell you because, um, because um, she think it's two hundred. But let me tell you something. I'm gonna tell you the truth for, for no. okay. The reason why, um, because normally I do pay my, the bills all the time when I because you see me all the time, all the time. I, if you watch my previous channels before, my first of my previous channels before, you see me, um, making sure I the money that I um that I save up every every the people who who my mother knows keep saying, Oh, give your mother the. the she said, "Give your mother the, the um the the um the money." I've hear that. Yeah, like you said, everybody, all of her friends is like, "Give your mother money." And then if I give her my money, what would I have? What would I have? You see what I mean? What would I have if I give her all of my money? It's like she don't want me to have nothing, and she's trying to be slick, and she she don't, and that's the thing. Math is a part of the world. You gotta do your. If you don't know how, if you don't know um how to do math, you're not gonna know it. That's why some common sense will tell you this. How are you gonna? How am I gonna pay um the rest of the bills to, um today um until now? If, and I'm gonna tell you this. Hey, the thing is this. I'm gonna tell you. Every time she called the police on me a lot. Yes. She's not going to take you that part. She called the cops on me for nothing. Yep. For nothing. She called the cops. Guess why she called the cops? And, and, and this is one of the dumbest things to call the cops about. She called the cops because I was living my best life. Exactly. How would you call some? A, how you would you call a cop saw me because I doing my best life? And to be honest, with you, I don't bother this lady. I don't bother at all. It's like, it's like um, cause I don't bother this lady. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't bother. Her. I don't say nothing wrong to her as I come in and do what I need to do and all that stuff. And she tell me, oh, I'm nasty and all that kind of stuff and garbage and stuff. She just. She just want to get it, and she's seeking attention. 
That's why she's doing all of this thing. She doesn't know I'm recording, but she's gonna know now. She's doing this all of, uh, for for attention. If if she if she hear me um talking, she, she gonna start you know she 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 gonna start make up some things. Cause to be honest with you, and, and I'm gonna tell you this, I'm a person. I give you content that is very informational. You hear that? <laughs> you now who needs who needs who who needs to be in the asylum? Me or her? Exactly. If if you guess right, yes, she is. All of what she said, you heard right here, right on the show, right on the show. There's a reason why it happened. Cause the Holy Spirit. Cause I was about to end. I was about to press stop. But the Holy Spirit said no. Let this. The Holy Spirit said, let it record. It. Let it record. Cause there's a reason why God wants you guys to hear this. There's a reason why God wants you to hear it because she's trying to. She's trying to manipulate me to get um to get things her way. And that's what narcissists are like that. Narcissists press because remember I spoke about narcissistic personality disorder and people uh, parents who are narcissists. I I talk about narcissist parents. And you see that? You see all of what I mentioned. See? Narcissist seeking attention. Um blame somebody. Blaming somebody that um, if they do something, they blame they blame you. Like a while ago, you you witness it all. Yes, you witness you witness everything. You wit y- y'all heard everything, y'all heard everything. So it comes to show you who she is, as a parent. Because as a parent, I would not do what she do. To be honest, I would not be talking to my kids like that. I will be respectful, and she's using money. That's why money. Do not use money. Do not put money. Um. Do not put money on top and God down the bottom. No. God should be first, not money. Money should not be first. Cause if you put your mind on money, that says a lot about who you are as a person. That's why I always get. That's why I always teach you guys um on the show that do not put money over God. No, do not put money. Do, don't put money. Don't don't put don't put money on top and God on the bottom. Cause that is how it not it's not supposed to work like that. Because the Bible said to seek God first, and He will provide everything. So she's talking about bed and all that kind of stuff. I mean, to be honest, I don't give a shit about no damn bed or whatever, whatever. I don't give two shit about that. No, because um, at the end of the day, we're not. Uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who buy what. It doesn't matter who buy what. As long as you have a bed to sleep, that's it. That's how I see it. I don't care about who buy what and who, me and who buy what. I, because you heard what she said. She buy this. Who cares? Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares about that because let me tell you something. It doesn't matter who buy what, as long as you. It doesn't matter who buy it or not, because that should not be that should not be a priority. Your priority should not be who buy what and money, money. No, that should not be your priority. Your priority should be the Creator, because we, we, if you choose, if you all said, "Oh, I buy this, my bed," no, no, you're saying that money is more important than God. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. Cause to be honest with you, the reason why I'm saying she, because she's taking because to be honest with you, I'm gonna tell you this. If you you if you see the thing, go on my Instagram, and uh, and there's a, a a a a picture I post with um with um a garbage pan and guess what, all my stuff, all my clothes, her definition of cleaning, <laughs> and I said it already. Her definition is cleaning. She wants to take all my stuff out this, out out of this room, and throw it out there, and let rain wet it up. Because the first time she did it, because I had a whole bunch of clothes. No joke, I had a lot of clothes. 
that that, that I need. Cause the, the good clothes is gone. All the good clothes is gone. All of it. When I mean all of my good clothes are gone, all of the good clothes that I um, that is for, that I had for years that I mean, that, that I bought for years, Walmart days and all that kind of stuff, and even beyond that. So I had enough clothes to stone dog. And now she, and and she throw them out, and she throw them outside, and wet them, and put it in a bag. And every time I carry it in, she put it back out. Carry it back in, she put it back out. And then, um, and then uh, I forgot it's even back there, and rain wet them, and I don't have no clothes. And I f- and I end up finding more clothes that find more clothes, and that she hides. I find more clothes, and then guess what? And I'm gonna tell you this: the clothes that um, that is that is in the bag that and so, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. I put it in the machine, right? I put it in the machine. Guess what? She it was what she throw it back out. So do the math. She's telling people to watch uh, watch my thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. That? You hear that, guys? It comes to show you who she really is. It's like she don't want me to eat something. Because bread, she, it's like she's saying bread is bullshit. It's like she's saying, hello, I got to eat. I got to eat. You know what I mean? It's like she said, I can't eat. Because she's saying, oh, what I buy is bullshit. What's bullshit? Me eating something, me eating something that is um very important to a human a human being, because without food, you're gonna die. So you need food and water is a, is is the most important thing on this earth. It's the most important. Is it? So the level of thinking she's thinking that don't make sense. But she's it's like she said, well, "What I buy is food." She's, Hello. Guys, I buy bread. I buy I buy a thing that 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 I can eat. And she's t- and she's saying, Oh, it's artificial. Everything is artificial to her, to be honest with you. Everything is artificial to her. But to be honest, what cause um she don't know that I'm way smarter than her because to be honest with you. Because what I do guys, how I shopping is different from how she's shopping. How I shop, I read I read it before I buy it. I read the front. I make sure it's not artificial. I make sure I buy things that are very not artificial. And she and she making up. She's making up stories that is artificial. So I just uh, I let her talk what she wanna talk. And that's the thing, guys. I, and I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. The reason why the Holy Spirit told me to 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 don't just don't stop recording it. There's a reason why the God did that. The Holy Spirit wants you guys to hear who she really is. She's not going to tell you everything. She's not going to tell you who she really is. I'm a psychologist. I'm a therapist. I'm a trauma therapist. I'm a mental health. I, I, I'm a part of the mental health advocate. Uh. Excuse me. I'm a life coach. I'm a marriage counselor. I'm I'm like everything in one. And I and what I did, I tap into those sides, and I'm ta- and I and I have um I have the thing to um to um to diagnose her, and she has a diagnosis. She has a diagnosis, and I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. Yes, I. Y- y- Yes, I have a disability, but it's not showing. There's a reason. There's a reason why it's not showing. Yes, I may. Be, I have. I may have a disability. I may have. Yeah, I might have. I, I probably have it, but you won't see it because, um, because the intelligence is 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 blocking. Once you have intelligence, because remember, guys, remember I told you. What happened? What what the Holy Spirit did? The Holy Spirit wanted me to see something in my mother's room, and guess what I found? A letter of uh, the St. John's University. That's one of the top uh, top schools. That's one of the. It's hard to get in that damn um, university. It's hard to get in there. It 
only somebody with a a IQ that is over the charts is allowed to go in that in St. John's University and I end up being I was I end up um got accepted into a university that is hard to get in and that's and that place is in New York City that place is hard to get in not any ordinary person can go into that um St. John's University cause that university is one of the top of the top schools in the whole of New York. You see, I end up got accepted, but I didn't go. You know why? Y'all, I, I already told you about this, but might as well tell you again. You know why I didn't go? Because she hid, she hid it from me, and I end up going to a different school. So the school I was supposed to go to is the one that my high school because I got a letter of acceptance. I got a brochures and all that stuff and they were expecting me to they were expecting me. And to be honest with you, I don't even remember what my major is to, at all. I Only my high school know what the what I'm supposed to go there for. I don't even know if it's music or what. Or business, it's probably business or music, one of them, or both. You see that? You see what I'm telling you? I'm saying this to say this. I'm saying this to say this that I'm not I'm not bothering her. I never but I told you this before guys. I'm not bothering her at all. All I'm doing is what I'm supposed to do. I'm doing what the creator has sent me here to do. I am I am I'm a Scorpio. Scorpios we we tell the truth. We're we're open. We will tell you the truth. We will give you the truth. So help me God. You know what I mean? Scorpios Scorpios are very um, very into not all Scorpios are like that. I'm gonna be I'm gonna make that clear right now. Not all Scorpios are like uh, like this. Is a certain amount of people who are that who are of the intelligence, because um, Reverend Ron, you know, you already know who Reverend Ron is. He and I share the same birthday. He and I share the same day. His birthday is November fourteenth. So do I. So it comes to show you, and he. He got accepted into St. John's University, the same school that I'm supposed to go. And look, at, I got accepted into it. You see that? So that that's rare. That's rare. That is rare. Not not any anybody can go to a a, a St. John's University. Cause St. John's University, um, you gotta be who? You your IQ gotta be who? Your grades gotta be who? Guys, Reverend Run. Was probably on the honor roll. Reverend Ron, Reverend Ron was was on the honor roll. I know that for sure. I don't even have to know this guy's story, but I know Reverend Ron has a high departmental honors like me. He was probably on the highest honor roll. You know what I mean? He was probably on the highest honor roll. And look at that. So you know what I mean? So anyway, so so last thing. I know this is way over, but there's a reason that there, we by the Holy Spirit did that. So I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna I'm I'm I just told you the truth what happened. The reason why because she's trying to go after my money. That's what's going on. Because I'm a psychologist. I'm a therapist. I, you know what I mean? I'm a life coach. And I can read body language. And the way how she's acting a while ago and I was looking at her, she's giving off um she's giving off um because she doesn't know that I can read body language. Because when I asked her the question, I was watching her body language, and she, and I can tell when somebody is lying. I can tell when somebody is lying from doing a body language, and she did a body language that only somebody who who lies about. And and when I say something, she know it's the truth. She knows it. Um, and I'm going to tell you this. She deliberately. Uh, she is deliberately doing this on purpose. She is deliberately doing this on purpose. Because her version of cleaning. Is taking up my things. My things out of the room. And throw it outside. That says something. So. 
You know what I mean? She's doing this for show. She's doing this for she's doing this for a reaction out of me. But I'm not now going to give her no reaction. Oh no. I'm not doing it. Because the reason I'm not giving her a reaction, I'm not giving her a reaction. Because she's getting a reaction out of me. But I no, I'm not doing it. No, she's not going to get a reaction because that's not how I was created. I was created for one purpose only. And that is to follow my mission, what God gave me. And if God said, the Holy Spirit said, anything outside that mission does not matter. It does not matter. That's not why God created me. Anything outside of God's mission, it's, it doesn't matter. I, I was not here. I'm not, God did not create me on this earth to um to you know to react to it. because if I didn't have the Holy Spirit if I didn't have the Holy Spirit it would be a different situation and you know what I'm talking about but I'm not gonna say it I'm not gonna say it right now because God know exactly where I'm gonna go for it it will be a different story but because because um I am make different in because how who God created me to be you know that because I'm different. Cause I don't me. I don't hurt people. I don't talk bad about people. That's not me. I was not created like that. I was not created. I was created for a purpose. I was created. I was created so I could make a difference in the world to make pe to um, make peace on earth. That's what I'm here for. I am. Creating a legacy I'm I'm continuing the legacy Of, of um, Martin Luther King I'm creating a legacy for, for uh, uh, To continue the legacy for, for, for my grandmother And all that kind of stuff Because when my uh, I, Because when my grandmother passed I'm continuing her legacy In um in, That's why I started a foundation For her That's why I started a foundation the, the, the foundation that I'm, I'm creating it's to help people because my grandmother is all about love and light. Love and light. And my grandmother has God's light. So she passed it down to me. Look at that. I got the light of I got the light. My grandmother was chosen for the creator. But I got the light. But the thing is this, yes, God made us different, but at least God know that um that my grandmother has a light. So Passed down to the next generation. Me. You know what I mean? So that's the beauty of it. If you know you're chosen by the queen. A chosen one. A chosen one will go through a lot. If you're chosen by the creator. You are going to go through all of what just happened. You are going to go through with people talking bad about you. Criticizing you. Judging you. Accusing you of stuff that you did not do. A chosen one goes through all these stuff. If you're chosen by the creator, you're going to see people talk bad about you. People, you know, people trying to blame you for stuff. People trying to do all of this. So all of what she, all of what you, you heard. Yes, a chosen one goes. Because I'm chosen by the creator. I'm chosen by God. If, so if, if you're a chosen one out there, you will go through this. You will go through... Mm, you will go through not just only family it, it happened in family too that's why it don't start out in the um outside of um other people it starts with who you were born in and it depends who your parents who your parents are that's why it says it starts at home anything that you do it starts in the home it starts where you were growing up so me and I'm gonna I'm gonna say this once and for all. I don't care what anybody say. I don't care what she say. I'm doing. I don't care what the hell she say. To be honest with you, I have a purpose, and I don't give two hoots about whatever. I have a purpose. I don't care about. I don't care what the hell she buy. Money don't mean nothing to me. But if it come, it come. Yeah, we need it. Yeah, but I'm not gonna put money um first um over god no i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna put money first and god second no 
Because if that's the purpose, what, what you're not needing on this on this earth. Because come on now, really? You put that money should not be first, period. Put so my final thing I want to talk about is God should be first. God should be first. All of what was said, what she said. All of what she said. Accused, she accused me. She talked bad about me. She criticized me. She called me names. You heard it. You heard it here. So what other proof you need? So all those people out there who's sticking up for her, this is your answer. The the Holy Spirit is saying that your answer is this. Your answer is this. Your answer because people are believing what um, my mother is saying. She's people are believing that. No, let me tell you something. People will show you a different size of themselves. They will show you a different size. One minute they're good, the next minute they act like a maniac. And that's what she did. Because to be honest with you, I did not do anything to this lady. And God knows that I did not do anything to her. God knows. Because I don't, all I did, because to be honest with you, I'm putting, because I came in here, I, I took up, um, because me, I'm that person. I was clearing up, um, t t clearing out the thing, organizing. Because me, I like to organize before I clean the place up. Because if I clean the place up, and I, and I said, oh, I, I can't find this. I can't. I go. I have to go pull it up to find it. So what's the use of cleaning if you don't organize your space? You see what I mean? So I'm different. I'm different. I'm, I want to make, I don't just start cleaning and then next thing I know I can't find something. I have to go pull up the place again. So what's the use of cleaning if you, if you, if you, if you're going to do all of that? You see what I mean? So my final thing is keep doing you. If you're chosen by the crew, keep doing you. Keep doing you. Don't let anyone steer you off the road. Don't let anyone stir up the road. They could talk bad about you, trash talk you or whatever. But remember at the end of the day, God got you. God got you. Remember that God got you. He loves you. He cares about who you are. He cares about you. Where without him. He sees what's going on. God sees what's going on. But God knows the truth about who you are. God, allow God to be a part of your life. If God is not a part of your life, that's on you but what in closing I'm going to tell you this God wants you to be true to who you are keep being true to who you are keep being true to who you are and I'm and God is telling me the same thing I, I've been true to myself and if anybody don't like it y'all could kiss my you know what because I don't care if y'all don't if y'all don't care I'm going to tell you this right now if people don't let people t don't let people do that, you know what I mean? Do not let people walk all over you and trying to manipulate you and all that kind of stuff. Cause me and I'm gonna be honest with you, I I'm blunt, I'm straight up blunt. Yeah, she could call me names, whatever, but I don't give two hoots, cause I'm not. I was a created for. I'm not create. I was a created to um to you know. I was not created for that. I'm created to do the mission that God gave me. I'm any any other mission, anything opposite of God, I'm not doing it. I'm doing God's mission. The mission that God gave me, I'm doing it. The purpose that God gave me, I'm doing it. And it's the, anything out of God's purpose, I'm not doing it. Cuz if God says um he should come first over anything, I'm doing that. That's the thing. You got to have a relationship with God. That's what God is asking for uh, for us. That's all God is asking. Uh, people when Nothing is wrong to go to church. But you have people in church. They're criticizing. All that kind of stuff. I know I won't get hit. But I don't give two hoots. Because the Holy Spirit is telling, it, is telling me to say it like it is. But I'm going to tell you this. Put God first. All God cares about is a relationship. Let me tell you something. If you put the creator first, everything God going you going to have a wonderful a blessed life. You going to have a wonderful blessed life. So put God first and you will see where your life goes to. Me, God is always first. Me, I have a connection with the with God. 
I have a connection with him. I have a connection with God. You know why? Because I read my Bible. I read the Word. Because right now, I mean, I read all of Genesis. Genesis 1 through 50. And I read all of Exodus. Now I'm in Le Leviticus. And I'm going to continue reading that Bible. You know what I mean? So if 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 you tell yourself, I want to I read the Bible, go ahead, read that Bible. Read the Bible. Read the, that's why I want you guys to read the Bible for yourself. Don't listen to what people say, what the, Bi what the Bible said. Li read the Bible for yourself. I'm going to close with this. Read the Bible for yourself. And you will see your life shine before your eyes. God will reveal it. If you say, Hol if you say Holy Spirit, please reveal. S say God, if you say God, please reveal um, the, fake, the fake people and... Uh, so if you say God reveal all the things that is not of you You gonna see people going off like a maniac Like what you see What you witness You gonna see people doing like that You gonna see how You gonna hear people talking like How she talk Cause I did the same thing too What I did I said I said God I said God I, Cause I said Holy Spirit I said God Please reveal to me What is not of you Please with and and look. All of the blue, my mother just started going off like a maniac. Been since since like you know what I mean. So that means God, the Holy Spirit is showing me what I need to see, because you have people out there, people who I know, are telling me something is off about my mother. This is it. So yeah, you know I mean. So anyway, I right, shall. I'm gonna go before I. I Thank you guys. Now you guys here and witness that. Thank you so much for taking time off your business card to watch this episode. I did not mean to go this long, but the Holy Spirit did want me to go. So um, it was the Holy Spirit um, extended. So yeah, be sa be blessed, be safe, y'all. Go go on the website to check out everything. www. I met my future wife show. Y'all already know. Alright y'all I'll see you in my next episode God bless, stay safe Y'all know where to find me all over social media Last episode is somewhere in the episode Go ahead, go check me out Love you, be blessed, stay safe I'm your host Defreshing aka Angel Rest of Fire And you're watching that I'm in my future show Peace, deuce, God bless